Hey everybody, it's Chris from Full Steam Designs. And today, we're playing Goat Simulator. Hey, don't you have a video to record today? I know I promised a tramming video a little over a week ago, but I got a little distracted. Uh, tramming is an adjustment that we make that ensures that our bit is parallel to our wasteboard and it's done after we surface the wasteboard. There's just a couple adjustments that we need to make. They're really easy to do. I'm gonna teach you how to do those, but first we're gonna head out to the garage and I'm gonna teach you how to make a tool that we can measure it with. There's a few different tools out there that you can buy to do this, but today we're just gonna make our own. And I'm just using some scrap pine. Uh, this is some stuff left over from the flags that I make. It's about 11 inches long. Um, it's three quarters inch thick, and I'm just marking a center line on it right now, and I'm laying out a couple marks at one and two inches. Then I'm going to go ahead and drill out the hole at one inch. And then we're going to head over to the bandsaw, and we're going to cut all the way through that hole, and then to that second line, which was at two inches. This doesn't have to be perfect, um, but you just do need to kind of get somewhere through that hole with your bandsaw cut. Just gonna clean it up with a little bit of sandpaper. This isn't super important, more just for looks and feel. Um, and now again, we're going over to the side and we're gonna lay out uh, the center line. And I'm just coming about a half inch in. And I'm gonna just drill a hole. And this is gonna be for a screw to make this thing clamp together. So I've got a couple old bits here. These are just some uh, kind of burnt up quarter inch router bits. I think one was actually the first carbide bit that I ever got uh, with the, the Shapoko. So I'm just inserting those. It doesn't really matter how far. I'm just making sure it's in far enough to grab and then tightening up the screws. And we can give these things a little tug and make sure they won't come out. And we're all done making the tool. Now we can go over to our router and put it in. Uh, you're probably going to have to run your router all the way up to the top to get it in there, and then you're just going to have to jog it down slowly. And we're going to move around and check, and you can see here on the left side of the machine it's touching, and on the right side it's pretty high. Uh, it's probably about three sixteenths of an inch or so, maybe a quarter. Uh, so now I've laid out marks at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock, just to help this make a little more sense. Um, and what we're going to do is first start by adjusting from 6 to 12 o'clock. So I've got it to where it's rubbing on one side, and now we're just going to go ahead and loosen up these three screws that I've marked in red on each end of our gantry. The yellow one you're going to leave tight, and that's just to give us a pivot point. So just make sure that you're leaving that bottom front one on each side tight. Now we're just gonna take a clamp and be careful when you do this because remember you've got some cables back there and we're either going to push up or pull down depending on which way we need to adjust. So I was low in the front and high in the back. So I'm rotating this back around the X axis. And once we're happy with that, we'll just go ahead and tighten those screws down. Next, we need to make an adjustment about the Y-axis. We're going to do that by adjusting the bracket that actually holds our router in. And there's a couple little holes in this plate that you can actually access the uh, two screws that hold this mount on. But it's very difficult. You're not going to be able to reach it uh, with the Allen keys that come from the factory. And I think it's just better to do this way. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and remove the router from the bracket and then we can just jog it down and check this here this will verify that we did have a, uh, an issue of it not being straight and I'm just using a precision square block uh, if you have some one two three blocks um, you can use those if not I recommend getting some but you just need something that is uh, perfectly square to double check this with so we'll go ahead and remove that bracket and loosen up just one of the screws that holds that in. And now all we need to do is push down on the one side that was high against our block 
and that's going to square that up. So we can go ahead and remove the Z plate again and tighten that screw up, just the one that we loosened. And then you've got to get it back on. You've got to get your belt around the pulleys and make sure you set, you tension your belt properly. This can be a little bit of a pain to get back on, but just take your time. And don't forget to tighten this set screw down at the bottom. So now we can go ahead and put our router back in. Make sure we clamp that down good. We'll raise our axis up and put the tool back in. And now we're just going to go back around from the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock positions. And what I'm doing here is just jogging it down until it hits in a certain position. Then I'll jog it up about 50 microns or 0 0.05 millimeters and move to another position. And then I should be able to jog it down the same amount and it should be rubbing. And as long as that happens, that means that we're good to go and we can go ahead and resurface our waste board. I'm using an inch and a quarter bit here to surface this, and I've set my step over to 0.9 inches. And that would really show us if we had any problems here, but this is a very smooth finish, and I'm really happy with how this came out. If you learned something today, or you just enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see more of my stuff. Also, don't forget to check out my website. Over there you'll find links to more of my videos and you'll also find some great free SVGs and grayscale PNGs to make like the wavy flags. I add stuff over there all the time so make sure you bookmark it and check back often. And I just really want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting me lately. Uh, you guys really helped turn this channel into something. Uh, I think this can really be a great training resource for people and I really couldn't do it without you guys. Check out this next video to learn more about CNC routers and woodworking. I'll see you over there.